Hi, and welcome to part 3 of the hands-on session for DLB Foam Library. This is Mahmoud Gadalla, and in this video, we will focus on some details relevant to the compilation of a chemical kinetic mechanism for DLB Foam. First, let's start by recalling what information does a chemical kinetic mechanism comprise. In this demonstration, we will use the GRI3 mechanism, which was developed at the Combustion Lab in University of California, Berkeley. As you know, most of the developed kinetic mechanisms are written in Chemkin format, and it typically comprises three main files, namely a reaction file, which holds the information for chemical elements, species, and reaction arrhenius parameters that also depend on the reaction type and on the thermodynamic pressure. Then, a species thermodynamic file, which comprises 14 coefficients for each species, and these coefficients are responsible for constructing polynomial fits, also termed as the NASA polynomials, to evaluate the temperature-dependent heat capacity, molar enthalpy, and molar entropy. And finally, a transport file, in which the comprised information are derived from the kinetic theory of gases. This information are used to construct polynomial fits to evaluate the dynamic viscosity, thermal conductivity, and the binary diffusion coefficients. More information can be retrieved from the Chemkin manual. Now, when it comes to open foam, a kinetic mechanism in Chemkin format needs to be converted to a format that is compatible with open foam which we name here as the open foam format. In this regard, the open foam utility, Chemkin to foam, is responsible for this format conversion process. However, this process is also associated with various issues. The main problem is that the Chemkin to foam utility is not properly maintained, and it can handle mechanism files in Chemkin to format at the time this utility was written. Therefore, in many recently developed mechanisms, several manipulations are needed for the mechanism to be successfully parsed by the utility. In addition, in some open foam built-in mechanisms, such as the GRI3 mechanism existing in the counterflow flame 2D tutorial, which we also consider here in the demonstration, these built-in mechanisms may contain some erroneous information. For example, the Sutherland coefficients in the transport properties are mistakenly holding the same values for all species. For that reason, the CT to foam package was introduced, which is developed by Dr. Heike Kahila. This package mitigates the issues from the Chemkin to foam utility. Particularly, it converts the thermophysical data from Cantera format to open foam format by creating the polynomial type fits for the different thermodynamic and transport coefficients. More importantly, the package supports users of DLB foam and PyJack in the sense that it automates the compilation process of the analytical Jacobian source code generated from PyJack. Also, CT to foam considers the species index ordering to be consistent between OpenFoam and PyJack. And further, CT2Foam creates the relevant subdictionaries that need to be considered upon using an OpenFoam solver together with the DLB foam model. Next, we proceed with a hands on illustration on how to compile the GRI3 mechanism. After sourcing OpenFoam 8, and switching to its run directory, we have now downloaded the Chemkin data of the GRI3 mechanism from the Berkeley website, and we put them in a folder named Mac. As previously mentioned, the Chemkin mechanism data are comprised into a reactions file, thermodynamics file, and a transport file. To install the package using Conda, we can follow the instructions on GitHub, and in particular, 
First, we create a new environment for CT to form on Conda. And we can do that by specifying a name of the Conda environment, which will be here CT to form env. And then we specify some dependencies and also the Python version. After the Conda environment is created, we can now clone the CT to form repository from GitHub. And we can do that by using, for example, the HTTPS port connection. So now we can see that the CT to form package is locally cloned. We can then change the directory to the CT to form package and then we activate the conda environment and then we install the package using pip. Now, the package ct to foam is properly installed, and we can verify this using the help function. Clearly, ct to foam is a valid command, and it requires as an input the mechanism data in Cantera format. Since we have so far the mechanism data in Kemkin format, therefore we need as an intermediate step to convert the mechanism from Kemkin to Cantera format. And this can be achieved for example using the CK to CTI Cantera module. So we change the directory to the MEC folder and then we execute the Cantera module CK to CTI and let's first see the help function and it shows us that we need to pass the input file which is the reactions file and then we need to specify thermodynamics file and then the transport file So now the mechanism is properly converted from Kemkin format to Cantera format. We can then get back to use CT to foam. In fact, since the intention is to use DLB foam, which also uses PyJack, we would wish that the mechanism compilation considers the species index ordering to be consistent with PyJack. And this can be achieved, among other features, using the pyjack to foam executable shell script, which is part of the ct to foam package. And if we check the help function of pyjack to foam, we can see that it requires the mechanism file, which we already have now in Cantera format, but also it requires as an input the pyjack generated source code for the analytical Jacobian. So let's first generate this source code using PyJack. To do that, we need first to install PyJack. Again, following the instructions on GitHub for the ct to foam package documentation, we can possibly install PyJack using Conda while being inside the ct to foam environment.
now PyJack is installed. So we can generate the analytical Jacobian source code of the GRI mechanism. We can first check the help function of PyJack. Here we can see that we need to specify the language of the generated source code and in our case we will use the C language and then we need to specify the input file for the mechanism and PyJack accepts the mechanism data in Kemkin or in Cantera format and then we need to specify the last species here we specify the last species to be nitrogen as the inert abundant species this is a feature of PyJack as it doesn't consider this particular species during the Jacobian evaluation. More information can be retrieved from the PyJack paper. The specification of the last species can possibly update the species ordering with respect to the original ordering in Kemkin. The script PyJack to foam shall handle that. Now, to generate the source code, we can specify the language as C and then the last species as N2 and then the input here we will pass the CTI format of the mechanism and then we can see that a new folder named out is created which contains the source code of the analytical Jacobian for the GRI mechanism. And if we check the mechanism.h, we can see here the updated ordering of the species in which the nitrogen becomes the last species. Now, to execute the PyJack to form script, we can check again with the help function and we can see that we have now all the input data that are needed. So we specify the mechanism file and then we specify the out directory for the generated source code and then we also specify the compile flag which will compile and build the generated source code for the analytical Jacobian to a shared library that will need to be linked later on when using DLB foam. After the whole execution process is completed, we can see in the log that first, the analytical Jacobian source code has been properly built using CMake and a generated shared library has been created. We can also see that the fitting of the thermodynamic properties has been successful and also that the mechanism data are written in open form format. On the other hand, for the transport properties, several warnings were printed out that some polynomial fits induce errors that are larger than the default tolerance. We can examine them by looking into the plotted figures for these particular species that induce rather large errors. And to assess whether the fitting is proper or not, we can see 
in the plots that the polynomial fittings for the dynamic viscosity and the thermal conductivity are rather consistent with the original data and we can also verify for the other species as well and we can see that the deviation between the polynomial fittings and the original data are not that significant and therefore we consider these warnings to be acceptable and finally also in the log there is an example of how to include the generated files and the library into open form through the various dictionaries now let's examine the generated files first we have a folder named lib which contains the compiled and built source code of the analytical Jacobian and here the important part is the shared object libc.pyjack which will need to be linked later on when using DLB form. After that we have folder foam which contains the mechanism data in open form format and also it contains the log and also it includes the example that we can follow to include this information when using DLB form and if we open this mechanism data we check for example the reactions.form we will find that it's an empty subdictionary since the reactions information are not needed when using PyJack which already contains this information and then we have the species.foam and we can see that the species ordering is also consistent with PyJack in which the nitrogen is also set as the last species and finally we have the thermophysical properties that contains the thermodynamics and the transport properties for each species and here we can see that the transport coefficients for either the Sutherland coefficients or the polynomial type fits coefficients they are unique for each species in the next video we show how to use this information to simulate the counter flow flame 2d tutorial using DLB foam